YouTube, it's Emma Gardner here, and we are getting fish emulsion. This is what it is. It's sludge, really, the best explanation for it. There, it's a broken down material that was in Luke's pond. Luke put point over there. That's Luke's pond, just on their patio, and we scooped out this. This was full of water when we started. We didn't even think to record till now, till I brought it up to Luke. So. We've been straining it in um, this nylon stocking here, and then we have cheesecloth over that. Just a thin layer because we're starting to get holes within here from all the just little particles like sticks get, would get in there and poke holes. So we did that to keep as much in here as we can. And what it is, see all this black stuff down in there? Those are called, what did you call them, bioparticles? Biosolids. Bios. Biosolids. They're just broken down leaves like this. And I'll even show you exactly what this is. It's this leaf. It's been broken down and you can see every vein. Show them one of the leaves leaf. that fell in there like this here. Over there. Like the whole ones. Where it's oh, hasn't. The whole ones? Where the microorganisms ha haven't broken down the leaf yet. Okay. This is how the leaf starts. You know you can't see all the veins. This is how it ends. Actually, these are two put together. You can see right through it. Yeah, it's it's like literally a see-through leaf. And all you can see is the veins. It's pretty sweet. Here, if I but yeah, all this black stuff is just like uh, fish, fish uh, feces, fish food. Because uh, we had frog, fish in this pond. Frog, right? Poop. Um, Did you have fish in here at one point? Bird poop. Yes, we did have fish in there. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry and microorganisms that just break down leaves and stuff and that's what you get is this wonderful I call it black gold but uh, yeah so we're going to continue straining this we'll get back to you when we have like a large quantity and what we do is we strain it off and anything that's left that's too small we strain into this bucket and then, we'll, the and then we'll pour it on our plants over there, and our plants over there, and our plants over there, and usually the whole garden, actually. This so. is the water that's coming out. This is how well we're straining. That black stuff you just saw in the bucket is coming out as clear water. I mean, it's, it's like bottle water clear. And this is going to save us a ton of money because we're going to go to the store and buy fish emulsion. And fish emulsion has really gone up in price. I uh, looked at a bottle at the lo at our local aquaponics store, and it's about well, depending on the grade of fish emulsion that you get, you can have like grade A, which is super fine, broken down specific particles, or you can have like grade D, which is your regular average. Like when they go to people's houses to clean out ponds, they'll pump it into tanks and then they'll take it to their place and clean out the biosolids, and that's about. Uh, for like a 16 ounce bottle of it, it's about five dollars, including tax. And and then for like a 16 ounce, like one pound bottle of it of uh, like grade A, it's about ten dollars, not including tax. So yeah, it's pretty expensive stuff, and we're making it for free here. So just remember if you guys have a pond like this that's been sitting around for a while and it's above a tree, you're in luck. Just scoop it out from the bottom, get like all the bottom stuff. See these are all the nasty leaves and yes they do stink so I probably shouldn't be touching them. But anyways, that is the way we are doing that right now. This we'll, is three, three year old sludge. Yeah, three year old sludge. So we'll update you when we get a ton of it. Okay, so this is how much we have after the 50 gallon bucket worth, the black bucket that we showed you before. This is proud. This is about softball size, a little bit bigger. Actually, a lot bigger. Luke. It's 18 gallons. Oh, it's 18 gallons? Yeah. Oh, you had told me 50, but... I thought it was 50. This is how big <laughs> it is. This is my hand. I do have little hands, but it's my hand for reference, so... It's as big as... a little bit bigger than a official size softball. So... What we're also doing is, we're now going to, sh ooh, that's dirty water, that's not good. <laughs> we're also going to strain this water into these one gallon milk jugs because we're going to water our plants with the water. So that'd be great. So it's kind of the same thing as compost tea. So we're going to do Don't another... Don't squeeze it. 
keys. <laughs> We're gonna do another 18 gallon. Got uh, another one. Bucket thing. And we're going to show you how much we have after that. It might be double this, so we'll see. So this is what we have. Uh, Brie raise up the thing because it's kind of dark bucket. Okay, so we have that after 36, 36 gallons of the sludge waste stuff. I don't know. It's like just pond water. What else would you call it? <laughs> and then that is after 18. So we're going to combine those two and we'll get back with you. Alright YouTube, so this is what we end up with. After a couple hours of being covered in sludge, basically. We have fish emulsion. This stuff is expensive in the stores like Luke said. You get the grade A stuff which we're classifying this as pretty much grade A because this pond, it's been three years since this pond has been thoroughly cleaned out. So, and it had fish in there for three years, so we're classifying this as grade A fish emulsion. We added some water to keep the microorganisms alive, but we ended up with a gallon of it. At the store, you could pay a fortune, but we got this for free. So it's pretty nice. So now we're going to take this, and we're going to go put it around our plants. And we're also going to take this water down here that we had filtered. Uh, we kept some and gave some to uh, the neighbor who's got a garden of her own. And we're going to keep this and we're going to water our plants with it. So it's pretty much like compost seed. So that's it. This is a great way for you to get your fish emulsion for your plants. And it's a fantastic way to keep them healthy. So if you like this video, just click the little, click the little thumbs up button, the like button. And always remember to rate, comment, and subscribe this video. And everything else. But thanks. Bye.